Okay, so let me continue to uh, partial molar volume, and uh, this is uh, their definition. And uh, uh, so I'm just two, which is uh, now we just talk about binary mixtures. This is just a, one of the prep work that you want to do, and it's actually quite quite an interesting understanding about the integration. So let's let's do that. So in the binary mixtures, VA so just a, for the practice NA adding one mole of A TP and keeping the other comp, uh, compound composition fixed. And same thing here, volume increase, adding one moles of B, P, T, and other composition to be constant. So, uh, therefore, the change in the volume How about that? Does the equation make sense to you? I mean, we've been doing this. When you want to express a volume chain, express into the two terms, and that's why we've been, we've been writing it. I'm just replacing that equation into a symbol. You know, it's a partial molar volume. And this is, I think, the pretty unique to the chemistry here. I am going to integrate this from 0 to the, my final volume. And then I guess I'm going to do my 0 moles to my final number of moles, 0 to my MD. OK. This one is easy, right? Is volume. What about this type? This is not easy. If you think about it, VA, which is, is it a constant? Look at that. That's not constant. Right? If you change 0 to NA in the mixtures, you will, you will dance a lot, right? It will go back. And you, you, I don't know what the number is, right? So does your two, right? And then your, essentially, your final destination is Na, Nb mixtures. So that's your final mixture composition the, containing those number of moles. So this textbook actually explained very nicely and carefully here. So what, what's the scenario here is, I'm, the way that you should visualize is, uh, let's say this is the amount of Na, this is the amount of Nb. What you do is, I'm not doing this way. I'm not putting A first and the B first. I'm not doing this. To do that integration, what I'm doing here now is, let me just keep the same ratio. You're keeping the same ratio you increase them, so you, you, do, I mean, you do the integration up to this far, up to this far, up to this far. Do you understand? <laughs> I mean, this is not even that far. When you do the integration, uh, the way that you start from zero to up to this, you are doing the integration up to that, maintaining the ratio between these two points always the same, to be the same composition of the Na over Nb ratio. I'm doing that. If I ever do that, what am I doing here is, whatever the number it is, I'm picking here, I'm just, this number will not change because of the composition of the mixture through the addition of A and addition of B, I'm having this mixed scenario that is the same. Okay? 
So this is a sort of chemistry insight to do, to do, to do that. So what, all the thing I have said it is, this is now constant now, okay? It's, strictly speaking, it's not constant, but I'm being careful enough to maintain the ratio to be the same. So this will come out as NA. And then this one is now constant, so V, B, and B. So I have a new equation. It looks like that. And then previously I told you that DV is VA, DNA, VB, DNB. These are the two equations. I, looks like well, I mean, it looks like okay. I mean, what's the big deal here? So it, it is when you do this now, do this sort of the reverse engineering. Now you take the derivative on this original equation. You do that, right? You do that. You'll find that dv. There's a term that looks like this. There's another term which is a nadva still surviving. So what, what you're saying here is, having said that, what you're seeing is, it will be zero, N A, B, B A, N B, D, D. They are bound together. You cannot change the molar volume without changing the other molar volume. They are interdependent each other. And this is an equation. This equation is not so famous, okay? But same symbol by, by putting chemical potential there, I can solve everything in, in terms of Gibbs free energy. And this become all of a sudden the famous gibbs durham equation. But it's, the concept is the same. The whole, whole mass is the same. So what that means is, uh, if you're interested in how changing the mol uh, molar, partial molar volume of A, partial molar volume B, they are all related. So they are interdependent, and then you will we'll see that. So I didn't put this uh, data here, but I, I don't know what's the value on this. But there is a value for ethanol uh, for one pure molar volume increase, and they, they all have something like this. And, and I have to look at the textbook. I just wanted to, as far as the water is concerned, that's a yellow curve. As an ethanol con concerned, they have a different partial molar and a you know, molar volume. So this is a VA, and the other one is a VB. And the, the, the way that they, they are interrelated to each other. 